Alright, we made it back to Firelink Shrine. We're gonna hand in that uh, poor Firekeeper soul. I mean, it's not our fault. She was following. Um, I'm surprised Sigmire has not moved this entire time. Right? Plus four. So, um, we can place a Lord Vessel, um, for either of the Serpents. We can go into the DLC zone. Um, DLC zone is completely optional. I wasn't going to say we need to do it for this playthrough. Um, but the DLC zone would just show you how fucked up a World of Dark becomes. Um. Oh. Since basically it's gonna get lit regardless of what happens, I may as well be the just one. Just go to ahead do it. and be the one. Yeah. I wanna be the very best. So we talk to Gramped. Hey buddy. I am pleased to see you well. I have not totally done anything evil. <laughs> um I don't have an item that sucks humanity from people. Warp. Uh yeah, warp. Stay still for a moment. Now, Framp doesn't make any returns later, uh, but his voice actor does. Which is interesting. It is interesting. When, when, especially in these games, when the same voice actor has actually been a connection of like yes the, the reason that is the same voice actor is there is a connection all right don yeah where were you carrying that thing at great question um we talked about the street fighter 5 cinematic mode earlier and there's a couple of scenes where cammy who you know Notoriously wears, you know, like this leotard that shows off yes. her butt cheek. There's a scene where she hands a package, package. Yeah, to I've seen this. I have no idea where, she, no, where it, it came from. And it's like just the camera cuts away and cuts back, and it's just like, where, Cammy, where'd that come from? I think that's like because yeah, you you see her a couple of months before from behind, so you get the ass shot, and then you you know she's standing in front when she reaches behind her and pulls out. Pulls the package, out this package, like, yeah. What the fuck? Cammy? I like that almost. Cammy's in some fucked up shit, and I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not judging. I'm just saying. All right, you can rest here. Um, you can offer a soul. We actually, the Four Kings was one of the bosses that uh, you needed to do. So you just offer souls to Lord Vessel. I don't know if um, if you leave real quick and then rest again. Does that give you more Estus? No. Um, so, in the cutscene, the three golden doors are now open. Um, for you, for your character and your build, we go back to Anilondo and we go check hunt down set seat the scaleless dragon um you can walk right from the you know i mean if you want to take the mouth express <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> so a uh, long time ago you went up this pa side path and hit the golden fog gate that you couldn't get past yeah it's gone now so um it's out here to the left And then outside that building's right exit, and then up there. All these guys I killed, and they were really here. I mm. don't understand it. It's so lonely. Oh, and the reason we're going this way, um, this zone is full of blue, blue chunks. So, 
this makes sense for you to take this one down first to be able to max out our weapons. Um, you may not want to headlong. Yeah. Not from the front. No. Hey, about John. You gotta get right behind it. Had a little hole in its tail armor. Basically, hit its tail is what you're doing. Um, you know, you can get enough time behind it. You might be able to cast a spell. I don't know what its um, armor is for magic. Yeah, we gotta get behind it. Definitely. Oh. Uh. It's okay. It's a short run. This is a non-respawning um, enemy as well. We can't rest it. No, motor. we can't. Because we killed a bitch. I mean, she started it. That's we did great. not ever do anything to her directly. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. That's what my pappy always told me. If you don't want none, don't start. Ugh. So yeah, in the lore, uh, Seath, the, the, all the bosses we have at this point have major lore implications, because they're all the ones, um, when they found the first flame, divided it up, and did their things with it, right? So Lord Gwyn basically led the army against the dragons, the, just basically like, no, we're, we're the new shit now. Um... And s the dragons were immortal because of their scales. Uh, Seath was born with no scales, so he was not immortal. And I guess the other uh, dragons didn't play nice. Uh, and didn't let him play in their dragon games. And he was very bitter about that. Bitter to the point at which he... Um, foggy Christmas Eve. He... Punk ass bitch murdered all of them. Um, well, basically, he told Lord Gwyn, You can crack their scales off with lightning. Um, so they did just that and killed all the dragons. And then Lord Gwyn was like, Cool. Uh, yeah, there's a second one. <laughs> I mean, that attack Horse makes kick. sense, but, yeah. That's right. I think you might have to do your R2, your stab. Yeah. You can't really swash it into the butthole. You gotta just sort of, like, poke it Rust. into the butthole. Oh my god, wow. Don't be like this. Hmm. Thing turns on a dime. There we go. Drop anything. Oh, he got his helm. Yay. Uh, he should have liked his bonfire. 
lit. Now we have a decent bonfire. We should rest at it. Those guys don't come back. But then again, you never have to go back that path. So this is the the archive. So basically, C's thing for um, selling out his race was like, I just want um, give me make me a duke and give me a big ass library and just let me study uh, immortality so that um, I can make myself immortal even though I don't have the the scales. Um, Seath, however. It was really into some fucked up shit, though. Uh, as well. He... He liked the Maidens. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds wrong. He dropped an item or does his head just go straight? No, he dropped those? an item. Cool. And these guys are all wearing crystal gear, um, which is all well advanced over the a Seath creation. Well advanced over its um, normal counterparts, but the durability is like nothing. That's your, that's your price for paying with it, so. That guy will just sit there reading that. You can just ignore him. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my god, you're not dead. And they That's have Chan they have Chandler buffs on them. That's what the little uh, Pinocchio strings are. Holes. Say back off. You want to get back in that room with it? Just guy. Oh, oh fuck! What? Oh shit! You're alive. Somehow. Okay. Don't know where you came from, but nope. okay. But know where you're going. Oh. No, that's good. Like. Them coming through here means you don't have to deal with their shit. Yeah. Um, now, they, that crystal guy is a unique item or chest or drop or something. Yeah. But he's worth killing uh, to get that. And I believe these monsters, too, are a seed creation. Because um, basically that big crystal on their top yeah. is how Seath uh, captured Maidens. He sent these guys out to capture them oh, and bring so them back. Oh, like the, the one girl that we found. Yeah. Broken Pendant. What the hell's a Broken Pendant? Um, pretty sure it's not armor. Um, just go to inventory. Is it a key? Is it in the key list? Nope. No, we didn't give the divine ember to somebody. Broken stone pendant, deeply enchanted. Hit, uh, X. I don't remember this. 
The vine appears to reject Mula Seal. Powerful magic can be sent from this ancient stone, yet men of this time can neither make players with power. Huh, I wonder if we took that to dusk if something would happen. Seems, it mentions that seems to be uh, what I want you to do. Yeah, okay. We'll have to remember that. There is a pincer attack on this. Uh, there's an archer on each side, too. Oh, there's the channel asshole. And he's doing the uh, buff dance there. You are, but he's getting away each time. I don't know where he went next. Yep. Okay, I would circle this area before activating the elevator. One to try to find asshat areas. You almost had him dead last time. Oh shit. There's a lot more than I thought was down that hole. Well, that is a good place um, to call this one. So, we'll see everybody next episode.